The movie begins by showing a planet being invaded by the Terracons, led by a robot named Scourge to seize the Transwarp Key from the Maximals. The Transwarp Key is a key that can open a space-time portal. Scourge is sent by Unicron, a giant super robot that can transform into a planet. He will devour every planet in the galaxy to increase his power to rule the world. The Maximals, descendants of the Autobots in animal form, must now fight to maintain the Transwarp Key so that Unicron cannot travel through space-time and destroy other planets. Apelink, the leader, made the decision to fight them alone, and sent his friends away leaving him to take the Transwarp to safety. Before they left, Apelink appointed another robot to be the new leader, Optimus Primal. Apelink then sacrificed himself so that his friends had time to escape from there. Eventually, he died at the hands of Scourge. Thanks to Apelink's sacrifice, Optimus Primal and his friends managed to escape to Earth by opening a space-time portal using the Transwarp Key. The Terracon's failure enraged Unicron, who then ate the Maximal's planet. He then ordered Scourge to search every planet in the galaxy for the Transwarp Key. New York City, 1994 the story will focus on a former soldier, Noah Diaz. He lives with his younger brother and mother. After being out of the military for a long time, Noah is unemployed and spends his days fixing broken electronics. Besides Noah, we are also introduced to an artifact researcher and museum intern, Elena. She is a savvy art lover, so with her knowledge, she can tell the difference between real and fake artworks. That day, Elena gets a report on some newly discovered artifacts, and she is intrigued by an artifact in the form of an eagle statue that has mysterious symbols. On the other hand, Noah was accompanied by his younger brother to attend a job interview to become a security guard. But after waiting, Noah failed to get the job because he had a bad reputation as a soldier. Faced with the difficult life of having to provide for his family and his mother's treatment, Noah decided to accept an offer from his friend Reek to enter the criminal world. They have a plan to steal a Porsche in a parking lot, a car that no one seems to own because it has been there for so long. On the other hand, Elena, who was very curious about the artifact, then conducted research on the artifact. But suddenly the artifact broke and took out an object that she had never seen so far. It turns out that the object is the Transwarp Key which is currently emitting light into the sky. Seeing the signal in the form of light, then Optimus Prime called all the Autobots together. Calling all Autobots! Calling all Autobots! Sarsi, I have a vision. What am I looking At the same time, Noah who had entered the building then got into the car he was going to steal. And it turned out that the car he wanted to steal was an Autobot named Mirage, because Mirage had received orders to immediately gather from Optimus Prime. Mirage immediately left and took Noah who was still in the car. Things went awry when Noah was chased by the police because Mirage was traveling so fast. Noah became very confused because the car drove without having to be driven. Plus, the car could perform maneuvers that outwitted the police. After passing the police and arriving at the meeting point, Mirage showed its true form to Noah as a robot. Seeing the change, Noah was very confused and couldn't believe what he was seeing. Not long after, the other Autobots had also arrived there. They were Bumblebee, RC, and the leader, Optimus Prime. Not a human here. The light coming out of the Transwarp Key that Elena accidentally activated made the Autobots who had been trapped on Earth for centuries finally get hope to return to planet Cybertron. Away home. But the Terracons also saw the light, so Scourge and his army immediately headed to Earth and searched for the Transwarp Key. But since the Transwarp Key was detected inside the museum building, Mirage offered Noah some money to help them get the key, because if the Autobots took the key, they were worried that humans would find out about their existence and consider them as dangerous aliens. Noah finally agreed to Mirage's offer and they rushed to the museum. 
Elena, who was still inside the building, began to panic because the electricity in the museum building went out. Then she plans to go out with the transwarp key. In the darkness, Elena finally met Noah. Elena was surprised and thought Noah was a criminal. Then Noah explained that he was with the Autobots and needed the key Elena was holding. Of course Elena thought Noah was hallucinating and talking nonsense. But moments later, Scourge and his army came to the museum, blew up the side of the museum and ordered his army to take the transwarp key from Elena. The Autobots who were outside the museum then immediately entered the museum and fought Scourge. The battle between the Autobots and Terracons finally broke out. When Noah and Elena tried to leave the chaos, they were attacked by Scourge forces, which resulted in the transwarp key Elena was holding slipping from her grasp. The Autobots fought to protect the transwarp key from falling into Scourge's hands. But when Optimus Prime is pushed back by Scourge's attacks, Bumblebee sacrifices himself to save his leader, and eventually Bumblebee dies at Scourge's hands. In an increasingly chaotic situation, and the Autobots began to be overwhelmed by Scourge and his army, a bird-shaped robot came to their aid. It turns out that the robot is one of the robots from the Maximal Nation, Arizor. Maximus. But Scourge prefers to leave there because he has obtained the transwarp key he is looking for. We got what we came for. Arizor then explained that the robots were Terracons sent by Unicron, a giant super robot that would eat planets in his path to increase his power. Scourge then brought the transwarp key to Unicron, but Unicorn was angry because it turned out that Scourge only brought half of the transwarp key. It turned out that the key had been divided into two parts by the Maximals after successfully landing on Earth. But even so, Arizor did not know where half of the transwarp key was stored. They were lucky to have Elena, because she knew where half of the transwarp key was located from the research she had previously conducted. From this research, Elena concluded that half of the key was in the country of Peru, hidden in a temple. After hearing Elena's explanation, they finally agreed to go together. The next day, they all gathered to leave for Peru on a plane that turned out to be the embodiment of an Autobot, Stratosphere. Long story short, they arrive in Peru and they are greeted by Wheeljack, a robot van that looks more like a nerd than his friends who really exude the feel of a soldier. Cybertron? Accent? What accent? Uh, you know he then takes way. them to the coordinates that have been determined by Elena. However, it turns out that in their destination city a festival is taking place. They then ask Elena and Noah to mingle with the locals in the festival. Before they left, Mirage gave Noah a communication device so they could connect. They then walked through the crowd and headed to the temple. But on the other hand, it turned out that Scourge and his army had also been there before them. Now they had arrived at the temple grounds and saw a symbol like the one on the eagle artifact. Elena then rotates the symbol and the secret door finally opens. Then they entered and walked down the secret passage. After walking down the dark hallway, they finally found a mysterious box that they thought contained the transwarp key. But after they opened the box, it only contained symbols again. Without thinking, Elena immediately copied the symbols on her notes. But moments later, they were chased by a centipede robot ordered by Scourge to capture them. Knowing Noah and Elena were in danger, the Autobots immediately came to their rescue. But Scourge and his army tried to stop them. <laughs> Optimus Prime then ordered Mirage to immediately catch up with Noah and Elena, while he and Arizor faced Scourge and his army. During the fight, Arizor was hit by a device containing dark energy from Unicron while trying to save Optimus Prime from the Scourge attack. The device caused Arizor to be infected. On the other hand, 
After escaping the pursuit of the centipede robots, Noah and Elena fled into the forest, where they were intercepted by Optimus Primal and the Maximal robots who were still alive. Luckily, Optimus Prime and Aerozor arrive in time before any misunderstandings occur, and Aerozor introduces them to the Maximals. These are my fellow Maximals. Now they must work together to get the Transwarp Key before the Terracons. It turns out that Optimus Primal knows where the key is, because he had been guarding part of the Transwarp Key. After the Maximal robots landed on Earth at that time, it turned out that they had worked with humans and were well received by the local tribe. They work together to protect each other. The Maximal robots promise to keep all tribesmen safe and the tribe would guard and save the Transwarp Key. The Autobots also brought Bumblebee's body to this inland tribe, hoping to find Blue Inagon to revive Bumblebee. At night, Elena opened a note containing the symbols she had copied earlier. When Elena tried to connect the symbols, it turned out that the symbols formed a new symbol like a mysterious code. The next day, Elena, who had just woken up from sleep, was now surprised to find Arazor acting very strange. It turns out that yesterday's shot from Scourge made Arazor fully infected so that Scourge could control Arazor. As a result, Arazor now attacks her own friends and wants to seize the Transwarp Key. During the chaos, Optimus Primal gave the Transwarp Key to Noah to take to safety. But actually, from the beginning Noah wanted to destroy the key to save the Earth from destruction. Seeing that Noah wanted to destroy the Transwarp Key, Optimus Prime came to prevent Noah, because if the key was destroyed then all the Autobot nations could not return to their planet. Noah finally understood Optimus Prime's intentions and decided to help guard the key. But without realizing it, Arazor suddenly came and attacked Noah, then she took the Transwarp Key, then handed the key to Scourge. After that, Scourge ordered Arazor to attack Optimus Primal. Because Arazor was already fully controlled by Scourge, Optimus Primal was forced to kill Arazor. After obtaining both halves of the Transwarp Key, Scourge then headed to the top of the volcano to unite the two keys. After the Transwarp Key was united, a portal was formed that would be the entrance for Unicron to come to Earth. Amidst the desperation of the Autobots and Maximals, Noah still wanted to fight because he didn't want Earth to be destroyed. They found one last way to cancel Unicron's summoning, which was to cancel it manually using the code Elena had cracked. They then devised a plan, Noah and Elena would sneak close to the Transwarp Key through the hallway, while the Autobots and Maximals would distract Scourge and his army. Finally, the big fight was back between the Autobots and Maximals against Scourge and his army. Autobots! fight, Mirage received many attacks and suffered very severe damage, besides that Noah was also caught by Scourge. But then Mirage merged his body with Noah, so that Noah had great strength and could fight Scourge. On the other hand, the energy generated by the Transwarp Key accidentally triggered Blue Energon Radiation. This radiation is so powerful that it automatically revives Bumblebee who was already completely dead at the beginning of the story. Bumblebee then immediately joins the battle and helps his friends. At the same time, Elena had reached the Transwarp Key and was about to turn it off. Long story short, Elena manages to enter the deactivation code, but Scourge quickly shoots the key so that the connecting panel is damaged. Optimus Prime then took the opportunity to attack and finally managed to kill Scourge. Now things are getting chaotic because the Transwarp Link Panel has been destroyed and cannot be deactivated. Now the only way to close the interdimensional portal is to destroy the Transwarp Key. To prevent Unicron from entering the portal and destroying Earth, Optimus Prime made the decision to destroy the Transwarp Key even though it meant giving up the Autobots chance to return to Cybertron and remain on Earth. Then he sacrificed himself to blow up the Transwarp Key and told all Autobots and Maximals to stay away from the place.
After the transwarp key was destroyed, everything around the portal was sucked into the interdimensional door that was about to close. When Optimus Prime was about to be sucked in, Noah decided to go back and save Optimus Prime. In that difficult situation, Optimus Primal also came and immediately pulled them, so they all managed to survive. After a long struggle, they were finally able to save the Earth from Unicron. But that didn't mean the terror of Unicron was over, because Unicron wasn't dead, he was just in another dimension and they had to stay vigilant. A few weeks later, Elena became a much talked about researcher for discovering ancient temple sites and artifacts in Peru. Meanwhile, Noah returns for a job interview to become a security guard, but this time he is offered to join a secret government organization to prevent threats from outer space, G.I. Joe. 